Okay, welcome to part two of Resolute Training, Rock the House. Our last training video, we went to our advanced output and we created slices that looked like our video wall that we were going to run. Our video wall was going to be a two left and right wall with a center DJ facade. This is what it would look like in on in real life. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our output transformation inside of Resolum and match our Novastar processor. So your Novastar LED processors, they don't make the LED wall look like this. That's not how it reads data. I created a project in Novast and Smart LCT to help explain. You'll notice that we have an LED wall, and you see this kind of little dotted line going around. That is a 4K rectangle. So that is an actual 3840 by 2160 screen. Now, just like in Resolume, when we say, hey, I want to capture this part, and I want it to go here, right? I want to capture the top left corner maybe, and I want it to, to actually play it down in the bottom right corner. That's going what Re Resolume is able to do. That's, that is the use of the program. We put content in a big old canvas, and we do whatever we want to it, and then we put it into the processor on your screen. So as you see these two ideas, this the best way to see this and take an example of is this is a 70 inch TV and I'm moving stuff around however I want it to appear on that 70 inch TV. Well, how does that translate to LED processors? LED processors, let's pretend again that this dotted line is a giant 70 inch 4K TV. When you have LED wall, it always starts at the top left corner as you're looking at that screen. So you'll notice I have the view, back view, right? Front view. If I'm looking at this, pretend again, 70 inch TV screen, I start putting LED tiles, you always start in the top left corner. So let's look at this. I have wall, a wall, and a wall. How am I going to use the most efficient way of putting it in inside of this processor? Because even though there's nothing here, right? There's nothing here in this space that the processor's, say, putting on an LED wall. It's still using that processing power, black or not screen. So I actually taken this. We did a stage left and a stage right in the DJ facade. You'll notice my stage left wall my state right wall and DJ facade. Just to show, we're not going to go over smart too much, but I'm going to disconnect this tile so you can see what I mean. Let's say my number three, this is my DJ facade. It's six wide. Great. Now my stage right. See how that gray box is moving over every time I put something there? That is a, moving it over to put the most data. The data starts at X0, Y0, this top corner here. And then it pushes it through. So, again, this is what the Novastar is seeing when it processes anything from Resolum. It says, okay, your stage left tile, that one. That's how that is. Boom, 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 boom. This is what we're going to put up there. Boom. This is the DJ facade. And in real life... This is what we see. We see a stage left wall, center, stage right wall, or stage right, stage left. Great. So Resolume needs its output to match this view. This is what Novastar expects to see. Okay, again, I'm going to reinforce this. Novastar wants to see this. It doesn't want to see that. 
So we need to make Novastar, or a Resolum output, look like this. Let's go back to Resolum. Again, make it look like that. To help cheat a bit, I've actually created a, I've taken that image and put it into the DJ part. So let's turn off our test card. You'll notice I have our picture here. Okay, it's a little, it's a little too small, I'd say, for our, for our use. So I'm going to scale this picture up. Okay. Great. Let's go back. Okay. So we have our stage left, right? Our stage right, and our DJ facade. Again, this isn't picture perfect. This is just helping me get an example of what I need it to look like, right? I need my stage left, my stage right, and my DJ facade. This image isn't perfect. It doesn't look beautiful. But what it's going to do, Novastar will now save this, take any information that that populates the stage left here, puts it in the proper place. We're able to track it. This is how you're able to create and start adding more tiles. You want to do more tiles, you want to do stalactites, you want to do some nice designs, you want control of your canvas. This is where it comes down to making sure this matches. A lot of people work kind of in reverse. They figure this out first. If you have a whole bunch of tiles here and they work backwards. They say this will be the best way. Let's go to Resolum, make it work. Okay. Now we're not connected to any LED tiles, so we're going to be using some different colors to help us show what's going on. Okay. So while you see there's a little overlap here, right? Um, it's really the output transformation that's going to be making sure our tiles line up. If I say line this up here, okay, it's all green. Beautiful. This is green. I love it. I can see that it's green. Now, sometimes you can have this overlap a little bit. See how those are now overlapping? I'm going to get rid of it. The LED processor, without opening Smart, and pretend smart's looking right now. Smart, the processor is going to actually double produce whatever graphics happen here. There's no talking from Resolume to Novastar outside of just saying, hey, here's a 4K picture. It starts here and it ends over here, right? Put this pixel right there. So we're able to now match smart and we're able to, to match our LED wall processing. What I want to do is create a red, blue, and green to help identify our spots. There's other ways to say do this and see if everything looks correct. You can create grids. But what I would like to do is I'm going to maybe leave these here for now. I want to find out my layers our next time we're going to create a red a blue and a green image thanks